Hello my dear learners welcome to another session of learning english through stories here at skillfident with your mentor namita today's story is a very inspiring one it will not only help you improve your english speaking skills along with learning new vocabulary and good phrases but also leave you some precious life lessons which will make developing a growth mindset easy for you you can consider switching on subtitles by clicking on cc if you would like to read along with listening to my voice You can also increase or decrease the speed of audio based on your understanding. So let's begin listening to this life-changing story. Once upon a time there lived a sad and lonely horse. It was a long time ago that his owner had died. and now no one visited our horse any more he so desperately wanted company to join the other horses he could hear in the distance alas his field was fenced and there was no escape he would spend his days wandering sadly around his field eating only the tastiest bits of grass until one day everything changed for him on that amazing life transforming day everything started out as normal it all started while he was sampling a particularly tasty patch of grass at that moment A butterfly came fluttering along and landed on a dandelion next to our horse. "Hello, beautiful horse," said the butterfly. Surprised and delighted that the butterfly could talk, the horse instantly began telling the butterfly all his worries. "You see," said the horse, no one comes to visit any more and i am desperately lonely and trapped in this field oh i see said the butterfly that's terrible you feel that way now it was just lucky for our horse that fine morning that this little butterfly was fluttering through the field some may even say it was a coincidence that the butterfly landed on just that exact dandelion next to our horse for our butterfly was a wise and gentle soul and understood instantly our horse's worry and pain it sad horse but you have lost your way how do you mean little butterfly asked the horse you are magnificent strong and independent but have forgotten who you are i know i'm a horse little butterfly i haven't forgotten but with that said the butterfly fluttered off to another flower on the other side of the field our horse started to follow and began thinking out loud what did the butterfly mean i forgotten who i am i'm a horse i don't get it soon he was where the little butterfly had landed again and asked little butterfly i'm confused can you explain further of course kindly replied the butterfly You have been stuck for a long time within this field lonely and desperate for company 
slowly over time this has become your normal then gradually you have taken this normal to become who you are that sounds deep little butterfly said the horse how do you mean we all place prisons within our own minds these prisons stop us from achieving our life's goals and dreams your life alone in this field has now become a type of prison in your mind you have forgotten your horse and with this the little butterfly fluttered off to another flower oh i'm still confused thought the horse as he wandered over to where the butterfly had once again settled what prison in my mind soon our horse was once again where the butterfly had landed and asked her to explain some more i would like to tell you a little story to help explain said the little butterfly oh i like stories replied the horse then i shall begin the common house flea has the ability to jump 200 times its own height now if you place a glass cup over the same flea something interesting happens when the flea now jumps he keeps hitting his head on the bottom of the glass cup after a few jumps the flea realizes what's happening and will adjust his jumping height accordingly the flea now jumps to just under the roof of the cup when you remove the glass our poor flea is now conditioned into jumping at this new height he has learned from experience that if he jumps any higher he will hit his head and it hurts he has created his very own glass ceiling or a kind of prison in his own mind this is the prison of our own minds we all create them and yours horse is this field you have forgotten you are a horse and what horses do but with this last comment the butterfly flew out of sight and our horse was left alone in his field once again for a moment our horse felt sad he was left alone again gradually though he started thinking about what the little butterfly had said he suddenly realized he was a horse i'm a horse he exclaimed and horses run and jump and play i had forgotten who i was really had made my own prison in my mind this field with its fence around me had become my prison but i'm a horse and horses run and jump and play and with this our horse ran as fast as his legs could take him straight at the fence in one great jump he cleared it and landed on the other side he never even glanced back he just kept running and running to the sounds of other horses in the distance our horse was now free so my dear learners what is the moral of the story well we all have created some form of prison within our own minds anywhere you don't want to be is like a prison even in the lap of luxury one can feel poor and in crowd lonely to see these prisons we have created it helps if we practice meditation observing the minds we get to watch the minds interactions and games it plays as it experiences the world through our five senses when we truly see those prisons we have created and their unwholesome qualities we will naturally let go we begin to move forward 
and escape our very own prisons in order to break these mental prisons you have to constantly tell yourself that you are allowed to outgrow yourself even if change is painful at times it is necessary change means you are growing you are discovering new things and learning more about people seasons and uncomfortable territories that's why keeping a teachable heart is important when you open yourself to constant pursuit of learning growing and building new things you are also consistently exercising your faith to believe for greater things outgrow yourself dear friend there are more for you out there never settle don't be afraid to change you are meant to be a better version of yourself anyway you simply have to remember that you are being presented with a choice evolve or remain if you choose to remain unchanged you will be presented with the same challenges the same routine the same storms the same situations until you learn from them until you love yourself enough to say no more until you choose to change if you choose to evolve you will connect with the strength within you you will explore what lies outside the comfort zone you will awaken to love you will become you will be you have everything you need so choose to evolve choose love and in this process you may not be where you want to be but you are somewhere when chasing after big dreams you must measure your progress by how far you've come not by how far you still must go so if your dreams are too far out of sight be happy because that means they are big you're not stronger than fate but don't be too quick to judge where fate leads you keep moving you may not end up where you set your sails for but your hard work will get you to a destination that's no less great put your best effort forward and own it don't fight fate simply be friend it and in the end to all of you my dearest learners i simply want you all to remember that you're beautiful you're worthy you are important you are special you are unique and wonderful you are talented and irreplaceable Do you believe the same for yourself? Well, let yourself be your best version. I'll see you in my next audio lesson. Till then, take care of yourself. Bye-bye for now.